Welcome to Win the Day from Back to the Bible. I'm your coach, Pastor Nat, and today we're going to talk about not settling for less with Jesus. Religion, tradition, and opinion can really mess up our relationship with God. Now, tradition isn't bad, but it can prevent us from seeing Christ clearly. Spiritual disciplines can be really helpful for our growth, but they can also prevent us from growing. Opinions are everywhere, but not everyone is sharing facts. You can see the potential problems. If we're not careful, we will allow religion, tradition, and opinions to pull us away from Christ. So what's the solution? Let's turn back to John chapter 8 for the answer. This is what Jesus says in John chapter 8, beginning in verse 34. Jesus answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, everyone who practices sin is a slave to sin. The slave does not remain in the house forever. The son remains forever. So if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed. I know that you are offspring of Abraham, yet you seek to kill me, because my word finds no place in you. I speak of what I have seen with my father, and you do what you have heard from your father. In the previous verses, Jesus said, If you are my disciples, you will abide in my truth. This truth will set you free. Well, they say, oh, why do we need you? We are children of Abraham. Well, Jesus answers here. He says, truly, truly. In other words, listen up. This is true. It's not opinion. It's fact. Everyone who practices sin. In other words, their lives are characterized by sin. They are slaves to sin they are not really free. Then Jesus gives an odd illustration. He says, the slave does not remain in the house forever. The son remains forever. So what on earth is he talking about? Well, in the ancient world, about one third of the Roman Empire were slaves. Slaves were not permanent guests of the house. They could be there one day and sold the next. But a son. A son was a child and they were permanent. They were there to stay. Likewise, the son, that is Jesus, he is the permanent ruler of the house of heaven. He has the authority and the power to free you from slavery to sin. Oh, and by the way, once you are free, You really are free. You can't be sold back into slavery to sin. You are truly free. Now, does this mean that a Christian can't backslide or fall into sin? Obviously, we can. But there is a difference that Christ is making in our lives today. He saves our souls, and that's permanent. And progressively and actively, He is transforming our lives. Jesus said, if you are truly my disciples, you will abide in my word. It is here that you will find freedom. Today, if you're drifting in your faith, but you are a Christian, chances are you are not engaging in God's word. You're not abiding in his word. You're not intimately walking with Jesus. The good news is, you can begin today. Don't settle for that average life. Don't settle. Jesus saved you for so much more. He saved you on purpose and for a purpose. So if you've drifted back into sin, repent. Ask for God's help. Get back into God's word and you will find that continued freedom and life. Now, if you've never been freed from slavery of sin, Jesus offers you freedom today. Turn from your sin. Turn to Jesus. He is there. 
He cares. He loves you. He has a gift for you. All you have to do is believe Him. Trust Him. Jesus came to free us from slavery to sin and frees us to a life unlike any other. Why would you ever settle for less?